Hey everybody, welcome to Lessons with Troy. I'm Troy Bernie Meyer. On well, today's lesson, I wanted to just share with you some of my thoughts on how I'm trying to go about getting a tighter six string in open D tuning, more specifically on my Duesenberg in open D tuning. Um, what I've found is sometimes that six string can be a little bit floppy, and I've tried you know, thicker gauge strings, and that helped a little bit. Right now I'm using a 60, a 60 on my six string. Right, and, and that helped a little bit. But this morning what I did is I changed the string out, and I had this idea that maybe it's not necessarily the scale length or the thickness of the string however i think that does help a little bit you know having a thicker gauge string what i've noticed from some of my other lap steels even much cheaper ones like my sx lap steel is there's a difference between what's called the break angle of the over the string over the nut let me show you what i mean um, on that SX, it had a sharper break angle, and it seems like that lower six string, even on that cheaper SX, was tighter than the Duesenberg. So what I had been doing on my other strings was when I changed strings, I just put it through this, the top part of the tuner here on the Duesenberg and just did probably like that, like one wrap, right? To where, as you can see, there's all the space on this tuner under you know, where the string ends, right? Well, that was what was happening on this tune, tuning peg as well. So what I did is I put more wraps on it, but not too many, right? I wanted it to basically, this string to end on the very last wrap that's right above the nut there so that I could get this string to go as close to the, the headstock or that, that uh, nut as I could get it so that I could have a sharper break angle over the nut thinking that that would be like my other lap steels that have that sharper angle and it would tighten up that six string and what i found actually is it kind of worked um it seems like that is a little bit tighter um you know it's still not not super tight but i do think it's it's considerably tighter than what it was with less of a break angle over the nut You still have to have a pretty light left hand. You know, you don't want to push down too too hard. But I do think that really helped, actually. Um, while I have it in this angle, too, I wanted to show you, um, if you can see my nut here. This is the movable nut that Duesenberg has. And some of you might get buzzing that happens on this low six string with the felt that they they uh, put on the under the this round part of the nut. And sometimes what can happen is this string can be right on the edge of that felt and kind of buzz a little bit. So what I did is I removed their felt and put my own. I just bought a, a roll of uh, adhesive backed felt and I put it even past the edge of this, this nut here. And that really gives it that felt much more space um, over the edge so that the string's not falling off the edge of that felt causing it to buzz. So that that's a quick fix that you can do for that too. So yeah, try to get that. Like I said, try to get that angle, and you can test this if you have a floppy six string in open D. I'm using a 60, six zero, but try to get that angle to go as close to that nut right there. Don't don't do too many wraps to where it starts wrapping around the wraps. Right, you want it to that string to end right at the very last wrap to not have any more space between the nut and this this string here. And, th and that should give you a little bit more of a break angle there. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed that. And we will um, see you on the next lesson. And thanks so much. Talk to you later.